All right, welcome back to your balanced diet of teletainment this 18th day of June 2018. All right, now time for us to sunch you some of the things we trend over the weekend. We probably you never hear. Or maybe you don't hear about you not get details concerning this news. Now we yes say suspected Boko Haram jihadists though actually kill about 31 people for inside one twin suicide bomb attack on a town in northeast Nigeria. Now, within one local official, a military leader, um, Dr. Masai tell um, news um, agencies for inside Weobodo, Nigeria. Now, they say two blasts um, ripped through the town of Damboa for inside um, Bornu State on Saturday evening, just um, two, a, a day ago, on Saturday That's evening, um, targeting people returning from celebrating the Ida Fitri um, holiday for inside one attack, bearing all the um, hallmarks of Boko Haram. Now, within the comments I talk today, it's as if it's traces of Boko Haram. Now, following, following the suicide bombing, the jihadists be fire rocket propelled grenades into the crowd. It just fire them inside the crowd as people be gathered for one scene of the attack. Now, driving the number of casualties higher, don't make the number of people who don't die and um, very, very plenty. Now, in his own statement, Dr. Masai talks say, there were two suicide bombers and a rocket propelled grenade explosion in uh, Damboa um, last night where it killed about 31 people and leave plenty, plenty others um, injured. Um, this, it can't go further to talk say, no one needs to be told, and this is the work of Boko Haram. And the latest um, death toll is now 31, but it may, it may increase because many among the injured may not survive. Most of the casualties were from the rocket um, projectiles fired from outside the town minutes after two suicide bombers and um, be attacked. Now, it, it's sad because suicide bombers be attacked and then somebody just come, shoots like a grenade yeah, into, uh, RPG, the crowd into the crowd of where well, people it, gather. It, 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 uh, one thing so it was it, actually a yeah, it was planned. planned. Now, yes. now um, if you follow the, the kind, uh, not be first day I will call them, like the, 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 the um, preventions, the, the, the preventions, where they, the things where they tell people they do when there's such suicide attack or those kind of attacks. Get that from that location. Exactly. No gather around yes. where something happens. No gonna come out there. They get some specialists. We, if you feel help somebody, we will be victim help. But make sure no gather because once people begin to gather there, they are easy prey, easy targets. Mm -hmm. In case say more attacks won't come, an easy target. But if people scatter, begin to run, it's going to be difficult to pin down a group of people. Who say they won't mm -hmm. begin to. They do some kind of badness to them. Now, very, very sad one. Unfortunately, this the twin blast really now. Very, and very it's sad becoming one. very problematic because if you check from January of 2018 till now, especially for Bono area, we don't get at least 180, 180 cases of in terms of this Gwabwa where they shell it for the and uh, 180 people where either don't wound or they don't buy based on this Gwabwa where they shell it for Bono. Now, people they come outside, they say, it'd be like, say, at this point in time, that area needs more than just the security personnel so they don't put right now. We need to get more people mm -hmm. made and go there. Because it can't be like, say, that's in a target area. If to say that they our oil come from, or if to say that they one of our major resources they come from, who will they sell, who will they export? Are we going to be treating this state the way it is? Or if we don't put more eye on top of this matter today? So now we will not say security is a very big and uh, serious issue for inside the country right now. And for a state where don't they repeatedly attacked, it's been under attack for quite some time. People, they come outside say the government at this point in time needs to do something for the people of that state. Of course. Yeah, yeah. apart from even that state, we see how insecurity, unrest don't become like the order of the day, especially in the northern region of the country. The now, well. when you talk about um, Borneo, you talk about Adamawa State, not be Adamawa Adapchi, the Adapchi schoolgirls. Yeah, this, this now a very like, you no, know, when they when they do map, they go put on red. This now states we actually don't get red as regards to un insecurity and unrest. Even Benue states um, now don't actually join the list. Just um, on Saturday on Top Radio, we be actually talked to um, some of the coordinators for inside um, the camps um, for Benue State, the IDP camps. And people they come outside talk say some even their camps too have been attacked too. Some of them they go back to their community only to meet more attack, and some of them were killed. So you see, say the state of unrest now for inside Obodo, Nigeria calls for serious, serious um, concern. Yes, to enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.